No, it's not. <laughs> what is it? Oh, yeah. Why well, do you think I gotta be that? You don't know. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> I told you. I'm excited. Ten fingers, ten toes, and a penis. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First thing I do is lie with you. Ah, put this in here. Oh my God. <laughs> It is Friday, February 28th. I've said it like four times today. Um, I had a miscarriage on Sunday, this past Sunday, so Sunday, February 23rd. Everybody, it is the start of my train to conceive journey, sort of, kind of. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to go ahead and get this started today. It is April 13th, the day after Easter. Um, I am, I believe I am just past my ovulation date. I believe I ovulated yesterday. I had a temp spike this morning that went above my um, cover line that is based off of my last six temperatures um so i decided i'd go ahead and start today since i'm done with like the fun stuff <laughs> now i would technically be on my two week wait after a confirmation of my temperatures i am going to do a little workout i didn't do this in my last try to conceive vlog but i figured this was a good um at home workout for anybody to do um of course I have some different equipment that I use um as I said in my um previous vlog uh, it's not really a vlog my um trying to conceive after miscarriage video I will link it up here somewhere um I am an exercise science major my bachelor's in exercise science um so I have a little bit of that background um knowing how to exercise and especially when it comes to being pregnant of course I'm not pregnant right now but I have that little extra knowledge um if you are trying to conceive right now I would say make sure you have the right equipment do something that you enjoy doing um when you work out make sure you warm up and then try to do something that will get your heart rate up um interval training is one of my favorites um especially on the treadmill um hit training um anything that's going to get your heart rate up and bring it back down go up down up down it's just really good for your heart strengthens the muscle i am a runner I'm a swimmer. I've done triathlons. I've done marathons. I've done all sorts of things, but um, I have that background, so I am able to do that. If you are just trying to conceive, this is a good time to pick up something that you enjoy doing so that you can carry it on throughout your pregnancy. Um, as I said, make sure you have equipment, um, especially if right now during quarantine time. I have a stair stepper. I will show you. So that is my stair stepper. Excuse my hairballs on the floor. I have dogs. Um, this is my little stair stepper from Gold's Gym. Um, I got it through Walmart. Um, it is really nice. Um, good way to work out. I have it set right here because I set my phone on the tiered thing so I could watch videos. Um, other good things to have, um, maybe workout videos. I do yoga. I have a yoga mat over there. Um, resistance bands, free weights. 
anything that you can do at home, find a workout, find one on YouTube, just find something that you enjoy to do so you don't have an excuse to not work out. I have my moments where I'm not, I'm like, oh my god, I don't want to do that. <laughs> The next thing I would say besides just the gym equipment, make sure obviously you have water on hand. Make sure you hydrate before and after and during as well. Next thing I'm going to highly suggest, I was a footwear person for three years at Dick's Sporting Goods. And I am a runner and I've had that exercise science background. Make sure you get good shoes. Please. For the love of your feet and your back, your feet, if you don't keep those good, your back's not going to be good. I have a bad back anyway, so I always make sure I have good shoes. Um, it doesn't mean go out and buy like the most expensive pair you can find, but know what you are doing and get the shoes for that. They have specific like weight training shoes and they have specific running shoes. So make sure you get specific shoes for what you are planning on doing. I cannot stress it enough because I see so many people in running shoes when they're trying to be a weightlifter and wearing weightlifting shoes or fashion shoes while they're trying to run. And what I mean by fashion shoes is that Sometimes they are labeled running shoes, but they're actually fashion running shoes. So if by fashion running shoes, usually Nike, Under Armour, and Adidas are fashion running shoes. Um, they do have some running running shoes, but they are very, very expensive usually. So just make sure you are aware of that. Do your research. Do your research. <laughs> I can make a whole video on this. Um, so do your research. If you're planning on running, get the proper equipment. So I'm going to go ahead and get my workout started. I'm just going to do my stair step for today. Um, I have resistance bands that my husband bought. They are in this thing right here. I might do some arms, an arm workout of some sort. But I wanted to get this started and I could talk about exercise all day. So I better stop right now. <laughs> so I'm going to get to my workout. Every change has a What's up guys? I just wanted to do an update. I'm in the two week wait right now. So it's been kind of, I don't know. I've been anxious and um, just kind of down. I don't know. I feel like cause it, I mean, it didn't take forever to get pregnant last time, but um, I think this time I'm just like, I really want to be cause I'm supposed to be. And I think that it's the first time I've kind of felt like sad about like the whole miscarriage thing. Like, I mean, I was sad about it, but like, I'm actually like feeling more effect from it. Um, anyways, I'm expecting, um, Monday. It is currently, I don't know what day of the week it is, Thursday. So I'm expecting Monday if Aunt Flo has not come yet that I will test, um, I don't really feel the same symptoms I did the last time I was um, pregnant, but I can't remember what I felt like at this time. I think I had back aches and like some cramping. Um, so it's hard to say, and I know every pregnancy is different, so I don't know. There's like a part of me that says I'm not, and then there's the other part of me that says just stay hopeful. It's not over yet, but... I don't know it's hard to stay positive sometimes um so all I do is just kind of pray I know it's in God's hands so anywho I just wanted to give an update because I hadn't yet so here it is hey what's up you guys it is a few days after the update I think I did that update on Friday today is Monday and you know, I kind of just had that feeling that I wasn't pregnant and I don't know, I was just not feeling like super positive or anything about it. Like I wasn't feeling negative. Let's take that back. We won't rewind a little bit. I was feeling that it wasn't going to happen and I was okay with it. I don't know if I call that negative. Um, 
but I did start my period. I started spotting on Saturday. Um, and then yesterday, and even like Saturday night, I started with my heavier flow and I knew I was like, I was right. I just like, I had that gut feeling the whole time that I was just not. So I'm okay with it. I have, I went ahead and purchased more of my ovulation tests. So I was waiting for my actual period to start before I purchased more. Um, and, um, I also decided to purchase some probiotics. Um, I was looking at my chart and comparing it from when I got pregnant to now, because that is the most reliable chart that I have of my like temperatures and everything, since the first chart I ever did was with a regular thermometer. Um, so I'm going to scroll back here. So this was my pregnancy chart. And I'm just going to show you like after my ovulation. Um, so I wasn't pregnant right away obviously with that. But you can see like my temperatures were pretty average, like pretty good. Like, um, And then when I got pregnant, which you can see kind of that like peach line is when I got my first like positive test. Um, which was actually a positive uh, ovulation test which told me I was most likely pregnant. Um, that's kind of like when my temperature shifted up more. Um, so those are what my temperatures look like. And then last month, this is what they look like. So they were a lot lower than normal and it's got me to thinking that my progesterone levels or back to normal and just, I don't know, my levels in general probably are not um, fantastic yet. Sorry, I'm trying to make a bagel <laughs> on breakfast time. Um, so I'm wondering if my body was just not back to normal quite yet after the miscarriage. And because I had a miscarriage at 13 weeks, my doctor said it was okay to start trying again last month. But I don't think my body was ready to start last month. So, I feel more hopeful this time around because my flow is a lot different this month. That's maybe too, too much information, but I feel like it's different. Um, so, anyways, that is enough for this rant. I told you I was getting probiotics because um, it's supposedly supposed to help you kind of like balance out. Um, it's good for your gut and everything. But I was reading something that it could help with your fertility hormones and things like that. So I'm going to start that. It's something I've been wanting to do anyways. Um, just for my health, not even for fertility reasons. Um, and then um, I decided I'm just going to do... Um, try my best to only do carbs in the morning. Sometimes we do some things that have carbs in the evening. So... Um, I'm gonna try to my best to like avoid like bread um, if I can um, and just stick with things like, I don't know. <laughs> my mind's not there yet. I'm eating a bagel right now. But I'm gonna do breads in the morning cause it kind of gets my carbohydrates up for the day. And then, cause I like try to work out and everything. I was not able to work out some of the days last week cause we were painting. And I also woke up one day with a severe back issue and I was not able to move all day. So, um, but I am getting better. Like, I feel like I'm more active than I was. Um, but I am going to cut the carbs down even more than I normally do. So, that's enough for this five minute update. So, I just wanted to give you a heads up and we'll continue this journey. I've tried to update like four times. Let me tell you. <laughs> My husband called in the middle of one and I, I'm done. <laughs> I'm going to try this again. This is like my fourth time trying to film this <laughs> today. It's just like not meant to be. Um, so I have not updated. I don't think since I started my period. 
um, this la the last cycle, so this is the beginning. Um, I am in my two-week wait. Um, things that I'm doing differently this month. Um, the entire week of ovulation, I tried to eat as clean as possible. I made like a whole bunch of like really, really like healthy meals. Um, I feel like I did really, really good that week. And I mean, it's what I should strive for every week, but you know, sometimes it's just, you just have those days. Um, I'm still drinking decaf coffee. Yay. Um, and then the beginning of the month or like the beginning of this cycle, I started taking a probiotic, which the first two weeks were hell because apparently they make you bloat really bad when you're not used to them. So that was crazy. Um, I feel, felt pretty confident coming out of like my ovulation period, um, that we, did everything we possibly could have. Um, obviously, always want to try to be healthier and things, but um, I did everything I could within reason, I believe. And then baby dancing and all that, I feel like we did did it did it really well. <laughs> um, as I said last month, I felt like my hormones weren't quite right according to my chart and I think I believe I showed you that and this like the temperatures were lower and this month they were still like pretty low but now that I'm in my two week two week wait it looks like just they're more consistent um so far um my ovulation was a little bit later this month than it was last month which by later it was actually where it normally is for me versus last month it was earlier in my cycle than normal um so i feel pretty good about that i'm gonna go ahead and show you my chart and what i've got so far but this is it's not gonna focus there we go this is my chart for this month so you can see my temperatures kind of up and down and this is where I'm kind of getting confused. I'm wondering if I ovulated earlier still. So we'll see. I feel like it's gotten darker in here now. <laughs> Anyways, I had to pause filming for a second because my husband came home for um, lunch and I didn't want to film with him sitting behind me. So. Um, Anyways, like I said, um, I am not sure exactly when I ovulated. Um, I'm assuming I am correct because as you can see down here, I got to get this the right direction. Down here, I had my po positive ovulation test about when, right after, uh, right before I marked where I had my peak. Um... So today, where it's highlighted right now, my temperature went back down today. Um, so it could potentially be an implantation sign. So we will see. Um, I did have some like weird, I don't want to say like weird, but um, I felt like a cramping sensation this morning when I woke up. Um, it could potentially be that. Um, I've also had some heavier discharge lately. Um, it's like thicker and goopier than I normally have. Um, and that could be anything. Um, so those are a couple of things I'm doing. Um, obviously I do that. I've been better at tra tracking my cervical mucus this month. Um... I took the pre uh, prenatals and I take my um, probiotics. Um, I am also tracking my water intake and I'm using this cute little app called Plant Nanny. And you get this little plant and you track the amount of water you take every day. Um, 
you can set your container sizes if I can get this to go up so I have multiple different containers and when you drink a uh, fluid or whatever you just hold and it tracks your water for the day um, you can grow these plants grow I'm not doing very good right now I don't know why some of the plants are harder than others so these are the plants that I've done so far um, they're really cute um, they get harder um, you earn little seeds um, so you can buy um, better plants better plants cuter plants I don't know how to call it um, so that is like kind of a fun way and I think of it like, oh, it's like taking care of my baby, except I'm taking care of a plant. Um, so that's a fun app. Again, it's called Plant Nanny. So that's how I keep track of my water. You can set reminders on there. Um, and then my workouts have been more consistent, I believe. Um, I've been working out every day instead of every other day. And I started a resistance band um, routine. Um, our gym opened up as of today. We aren't going today because we think it's going to be insane, but I will be excited to get back into running. I did run about two weeks ago with my mom and my husband. Um, that was in another video I, I posted, which I don't know when you'll be seeing this video, but that will be, um, that was in a video. Um, my husband's quarantine drill weekend I already posted it so um, we did go run about three miles um, just kind of off and on um, and just trying to stay active some of the days when I'm doing more housework or my husband's home I don't always get to work out I'm hoping that changes um, when we can start going to the gym more um, that's pretty much it um, what I've done so far, um, this is seven days past my ovulation right now, so I could, my plan is to, if I have not had signs of my period coming, I'm going to test at the end of the week. Um, if I just don't feel like I am, I'm probably just going to wait it out like I did last month. Um, I don't really know what I'm feeling right now. Um, I think once my temperature started going down last month, I, I knew for sure. Um, but it's, it's hard to say until like it comes. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this update and I will update as soon as I get any signs or symptoms or I don't know. <laughs> Um, so, all right. Hey guys, in the bathroom. I promised myself I was going to test on Saturday and now I have like really bad anxiety about it. But I feel like I should just do it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to actually do a pregnancy test. I think I'm going to do what I did last time and do an LH test. And then if it's positive, I will do a HCG test. This feels weird. <laughs> Alright, let's get to this.